You know, the funny thing is sometimes you apply for a loan from Navy Fed, you know, you fill out the application, you're confident, you just to put your income and uh, all kinds of information. And unfortunately, you get denied. OK, so in today's conversation, I want to share with you five ways to reverse the denial decision and get approved no matter what. Welcome back, folks, to another edition of the Awesome Sort of Kiwi Show. How are you today? I hope you are doing fantastic. I'm doing marvelous, if you are to ask me. If you are doing great, as great as I am, go grab a cup of coffee or tea or vodka and let's roll. <laughs> In today's conversation, I want to address a very important topic. The $50,000 Navy Fed personal loan denied. Five ways to reverse the denial decision and get approved no matter what. But before I get into the actual, uh, all the reasons, all the ways you can actually reverse the denial decision, I first want to address an, a very important issue. What are the personal, the common personal loan rejection reasons? Okay, you got to be really clear. You have to, you need to have a clear understanding of why your ass, for example, was denied so that you can actually properly mitigate it. Okay, mitigate that, that denial. So you could be denied for a personal loan from Navy Fed or another institution if you have bad credit. That's just important. I mean, you know, if you have bad credit, if you have a low FICO score, that actually uh, translates into a high, I mean, high odds of uh, rejection. That's what it is. Okay. So you got to be in a situation where you are constantly, constantly improving your FICO score. It's very important. So, and we're not just talking about the Navy Fed personal loan. Okay. Even though this is the topic of today's conversation, we are talking about mortgage we're talking about student loans, car loans. I mean, credit history is quite essential when it comes to those loans, okay? If you have a high debt to income ratio, I mean, a high DTI, this could also be a, a possibility or a reason why your loan is rejected, okay? It doesn't matter if you're making a lot of money because people sometimes ask the questions, well, you know, I'm just making a lot of cash. I don't understand why my ass got denied. Well, your ass got denied because there is a dichotomy. There is a, you know, a discrepancy between your high income and your high expense levels. In other words, you are living beyond your means. So your DTI, instead of being low, being around 30%, which is ideal, your DTI is around 50%, 60%, and that's bad. If you have, a, an, a, let's just say, an unstable job history, you know, you just you just job hopping. Here and there, you know, you start working here. The, the, the next time I see you, you're here, you know, you hit hit the road jack all the time. You just leave work. I mean, that's, that's kind of bad. So I want you to, to be in a situation where you have a stable job history. Very important. So you could be denied if you have an unstable job history, okay? Or if your income was insufficient. Because a lot of folks say, well, you know, I, I, fill, out, I fill out all the form. I was pretty confident, whatever. I have, I have a high FICO score. Yeah, we have a high FICO score, but your income was insufficient based on the loan you are asking for. Because th that's what it is. Because... Because Navy Fed is, is thinking, can this person repay us back? Because it's all about mitigating the default risk, okay? Very important. I'm still going through all the reasons why you might be denied, and it's really important to understand those reasons, okay? So if you have a loan purpose mismatch, what we call loan purpose mismatch. In other words, if you have to understand, Let's say you are asking for a, you are asking for a, a loan, right? You want to apply for a loan at Navy Fed, okay? And you want to take the loan to uh, invest in the stock market. <laughs> Navy Fed doesn't do that. <laughs> they don't do that. I mean, they they want to lend you for s stuff that really matters, not for you to gamble, to go to, to to Vegas and really chill, or go to Punta Cana, or whatever. No, you gotta really have a you know, a right reason to use the loan. So this is important. If there is a mismatch, if there is a, a dichotomy, if there is a, a contradiction between what you want the loan for and what you're actually using the loan for, this could be a problem. Now, Navy Fed is not going to monitor your, your activities once they approve the loan, but it's important to actually be truthful on your loan application. You know, it's very important. Now, another reason you could be uh, denied if, if uh, for instance, there is missing information or paperwork paperwork this could be a problem this is why we tell people to always apply at a branch or over the phone 
In other words, you want to go to a branch, you want to ask all kinds of questions, you want to you want to gather all the intel you need on the loan before you apply. Okay, so so that you you are sure that you have all the information or paperwork needed for that particular loan. Okay, so I mean. I know a lot of folks are like, hey, listen, I don't have time. You know, I'm just I'm just busting my chops. I'm just uh, very, very tired. I have a nine to five or nine to nine or nine to twelve, whatever your, your schedule is. You know, I'm just working hard, as, hard as hell. Yeah. So I don't have time to go to a branch. I want to I want to apply online. No, boss. No. Hey, no. Because you are imp you are increasing your chances of making mistakes. This is why you always want to ask the source. You want to go to the source for information before applying for a personal loan, especially if you're seeking the maximum loan amount fifty thousand dollars. Okay, or you know, and another reason you could be rejected is if you try to borrow too much. Okay, you are borrowing too much based on your income. That's what I said earlier. There is a discrepancy between your income level and the amount that you are trying to borrow. Okay, that's what that's what it is. Okay, or if you don't meet the basic requirements navy fed could also uh, reject your application okay remember when we talk about personal loans you got to be at least 18 or 21 in your state of uh residence okay you got to be uh, a u.s citizen or qualifying or qualifying a resident and you have to be employed with a valid bank account among others i mean this is not exhaustive but among others so you have to be in a situation where you basically understand first the reasons for loan denial so that you can actually mitigate them and this is what i'm going to show you i'm going to show you very very quickly so here are the steps okay here is what i promised you okay i'm going to share with you a lot of ways a lot of ways to actually uh get the 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 to, to to reverse the denial decision actually it's not five ways it's seven ways i mean you know we could do a lot of things that we have thought about we thought about five ways originally but as we were digging doing more research we found two extra ways that could help you reverse the original decision okay denial decision and get approved no matter what it, it could happen within one week it could happen within one month it could happen within three months okay that's really important the first thing you want to do is you want to review your decline notice this is important boss boss i want you to review your decline notice what happens here is that navy fed will send you an adverse action notice you know if they denied you they will send you a letter and they they have to this is the law okay they'll they'll explain to you what, what happens if you have a low navy fed internal score they'll let you know they, they will tell you the reasons why your loan application was rejected this is really important take the time to review that boss son daughter i want you to take the time to review that decline notice don't be emotional. I mean, I know you're probably pissed or you're probably like, you know, frustrated that they have not approved you. That's fine. I mean, that's normal. Okay. But once you pass that emotional stage, I want you to focus. I want you to really be sure about the, the form you have in front of you and understand why your application was denied. This is the first thing. Information is power. Boss, are you there? Information is power. So take the time to review your decline notice so you know exactly what's what's happening okay and remember because of the the, the uh, rejection you are eligible to receive a free copy of your credit report so you know exactly what's going on in your on your credit report okay so this is the second reason so when you get your credit report i want you to review your credit report i want you to see whatever if there are any derogatory uh, items okay if there are some issues some inaccurate issues as some inaccurate data for example this is important okay your credit report is a gold mine of information boss yeah again it's not about it's not about just being emotional about it it's about trying to fix the the, the issues on it if you have some collections going on you have some uh, charge offs or you have some errors or you know god forbid somebody has stolen your identity this is an opportunity for you to to know, to know exactly what's on there so you can fix it very important okay and, and i want you to really do it systematically and reflexively I mean, we're not putting emotions in, in this thing. No, it's not about emotion. You know, you get your, your free copy of credit report from uh, annualcreditreport.com. And I want you to study that report. Study it. Okay. Uh, you want to study this in all granularity, in full granularity, in full details. The, th the third thing you can do to actually reverse the loan denial decision is to boost your credit score. Now, I'm not asking that this will happen overnight, but the thing here is that you have to start a process, right? It's all about starting a process. Son, are you listening to me? 
okay you want to start a process that hey next time so let's say you you got denied today right if you are able to take the right steps the right steps to uh, work on your on your credit report and credit score three months from now six months from now you will be in a better position financially okay psychologically mindset wise you could you you you'll be confident and that's what you need okay so if your loan application was denied because you have because you have a low credit score but you are able to actually get a copy of your credit report you could boost it you could put that score so we're talking about what we're talking about if you have late payments late payments can actually uh, decrease your credit score so we want to stop we want to be in a situation where we want to say hey listen I i'm just tired of uh, just uh, being late with payments you know i want to have a, a strong history of financial responsibility i want to have a strong history of financial uh, financial discipline whereby i i completely and i unequivocally and that's the key word here unequivocally pay all my bills on time and you know all time all the time on time all the time son daughter you're there grandpa grandma i'm talking to you mom dad I, I, <laughs> boy 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 uncle are you there aunt are you there niece nephew i'm just calling i'm just calling everybody okay so we have to stop late payments we have to boost our debt to income ratio we have to lower our credit utilization ratio okay i mean you know if, if your cars are close to their maximum limits you you have to really uh bring them down okay try to limit the number of recent inquiries you have on your credit report also okay don't apply for it. credit cards or loans or lines of credit all the time okay hit hit the pause button i want you to hit the pause button and chill a little bit if you if you have a lack of credit history and uh, let's say you're just young you're just out of college you don't have a lot of history that's when let time be your ally okay let time be your ally so hey listen here are some actions you can take right now right now right now to improve your credit score i'm not asking you to do them tomorrow or do them six months from now right now i'm talking to you right now get a copy of your credit reports and dispute any errors you want to set up automatic bill payments to avoid missed or late payments did you hear that okay you want to automate everything okay you want to pay down credit card debts to decrease your credit utilization it's important and you know depending on your situation you might think about taking out a credit build a loan this could help you also okay or you can also seek nonprofit credit counseling for help with debts whether your debt is current or past due Boss, I'm still talking to you about your NFCU personal loan deny, how to reverse the denial decision and actually make sure you are approved, okay? And one thing I want to tell you here, the next thing you want to do is you want to look for ways to increase your income and pay down debts, okay? So when we talk about DTI, when you have a high DTI, DTI ratio, you know why? Because basically, you are maybe uh, making a lot of money, but you're also spending a lot of money. you also spending that money on paying, to, on paying debts or you're not making enough money but you have a high level of income a high level of debt so when you have this dichotomy when you have this this i would say this uh, antithesis what we call uh, you know this contradiction between your income and debt then you have a high dti so you got to look for ways to increase your income and pay down debt son i have no idea what you're going through i have no idea what kind of job you have i, don't, I have no idea about your personal life but m my point is no matter what you can do to improve your income level do it okay we're talking about maybe you might want to get a, a side gig you know you might want to be a mentor or be a babysitter or whatever whatever it is daughter i'm just talking to you too so the whole idea what i'm trying to i, I want to instill in you a sense and a sense of confidence a sense of commitment the ability to actually improve your income level and pay down debt that discipline i want you to have it i want you to empower you to have it because you need discipline okay you really need discipline because right now you probably you you are willing to do the right thing but you don't have the discipline the routine that is needed to make it happen all the time you know saying is you know i'm gonna fight i'm, I'm gonna fight my way up the faculty the faculty score spectrum i'm gonna fight i'm gonna fight my way up in terms of uh, net worth in terms of positive net worth okay so look for ways to increase your income and pay down debt okay or find a co-signer yeah i mean a co-signer can help you okay a co-signer or a co-borrower okay now for depending on the state you're applying from navy fed might, might accept a co-signer or a co-borrower they have a uh, strict uh, rules around that but by definition they love 
co-borrowers. They don't love co-signers a lot, but they love co-borrowers. But the point I'm trying to make here is that you want to find support. Maybe you want to beef up your, your loan application because maybe your income is too low or your, your, you have a, a very heavy financial past that's really dragging your FICO score down. So whatever you can do to mitigate the situation, whatever you can do to actually uh, beef up your loan application, that's fine, okay? Do you have a spouse? Do you currently, do you currently uh, live with someone or do you have a relative that you trust? Okay, maybe that person can hook you up. The person can help you up. Can I, the person can actually help up? Uh, you know, do a, a complete overhaul of uh, your application so you can you can apply a new. Okay, you can apply a fresh. I'll be right back. Right after this, don't go anywhere. Welcome back, folks, to another edition of the Awesome Sweaty Kiwi Show. We are see, still having a conversation about NMCU personal loan denied. Okay, this is the fifty thousand dollars NMCU loan. Okay, and I'm sharing with you seven ways, not five ways, seven ways to reverse the denial decision and get approved no matter what. So I told I told you to review your decline notice, to review your credit report, to boost your credit score, to look for ways to increase your income and pay down debt, to find a co-signer. Now, I really want to talk to you about applying for a smaller loan amount. Son, see, the thing is, sometimes Navy Fed could actually deny you because, uh, as I said before, your income is too low based, is too low compared to the amount, uh, the, the loan amount you're asking for. You got to understand, Navy Fed, is, they're just trying to mitigate the risk here. They're trying to, uh, to actually prevent default risk, okay? And uh, the thing here, they're trying to prevent default. So they're trying to mitigate default risk or credit risk for that matter. So if they look at you and let's say you are making $24,000 gross a year. So that's two grand a month and you are applying for a $25,000 loan. You can see right then and there that, you know, there is a discrepancy. But if you were to apply for a $5,000 loan or you were to apply for a $3,000 loan, there could be a possibility of loan approval because, again, if the new loan is not going to uh, in, increase your DTI ratio too too high. Okay, that's the thing you got to think about. Anytime you take out a loan, anytime you take out a loan, and if you don't have a corresponding increase in income, you're going to uh, systematically and reflexively increase your uh, DTI, your debt to income ratio, and that's really bad. Okay, so because when we talk about debt to income ratio, you want to be in a situation where you are constantly lowering this metric. You are constantly reducing the metric right because the, the you got to have a there is an inverse relationship between dti and financial health there's an inverse relationship between dti ratio and the fico score so the lower your dti ratio the higher your fico score okay and maybe you might want to think about putting up collateral yeah i mean if you're having trouble getting approved for an unsecured personal loan from navy fed guess what try taking out a personal a secure personal loan okay because Unlike a, an unsecured loan, a secure loan is one that is backed by collateral, like a car title or a cash deposit, okay? So the upside of this move is that it can increase your chances of getting approved, okay? But not, one thing I want to say, though, there is a, a risk here, though. If you fail to repay, NMCU may actually take your collateral. So those are things, you know, they can repo whatever you pledged as collateral. <music> Before I close to this conversation, let me just give you a few pro, a few pro tips. One thing I want to say here is that, I mean, Navy Fed is a fantastic organization. They're a fantastic institution. They actually are very generous when it comes to lending, the lending uh, or issuing credit cards. You know, the limits are very high. But listen, maybe at this point in time, if you get denied, maybe it's not the right time for you to be approved for a loan at Navy Fed. Because I don't want you to really uh, be bogged down on only one source and say, you know what, it's Navy Fed or nothing. No, no. I want you to hit, I want you to hit the road jack right now and just say, listen, if Navy Fed is, has uh, rejected me and I've read the letter, I've read the the, re, the rejection notice, and I just like, you know what, let's just drop it for now. Well, this is the time to shop around for a loan. Okay, remember, every lender has their own requirements okay so you don't have to put all your eggs in the in one basket again i'm not saying navy fed is bad but they're not the only lender around okay try penfed try 
other credit unions. Try banks, try online lenders, okay? Because one lender might have more forgiving loan criteria and will approve you where another will not, okay? So this is really important. You can even use a pre-qualification to your advantage to compare loan offers without harming your credit score. And this is really important. I mean, we love we love the fact that pre-qualification is really not, you know, it's basically a process that allows you to have a soft pool. So when you have a soft pool, you're not actually decimating your FICO score. Okay, so you want to systematically try that. Trying to shop around for a loan, you can use uh, you can use uh, online tools to actually pre-qualify for the loan. Okay, and while you're doing that, please beware of predatory lenders. It's important. I, what I'm trying to say here is, don't be so desperate that you forget about you know that you that you forget about being cautious. In other words, you have to constantly be on the lookout for those predators who are trying to actually, who, who are looking for naive applicants, okay? So for instance, payday loans have uh, APRs that are really, really high. I mean, if this is what you want right now, okay, that's fine. But we always say that if you are looking for a payday loan, start with a credit union where you currently at, you're currently at, okay? Or start with the bank where you're currently at. Okay, and uh, be wary of lenders that will provide a loan with no credit check because they could charge extremely high interest rates or fees. Okay, and uh, we have covered a lot of those on this show, though, so we know what we're talking about. So, long story short, you want to be very, very careful. Thank you so much for your attention. I really appreciate it. I really appreciate your presence here. I was talking to you today about uh, the fifty thousand dollars Navy Fed personal loan denied. Okay, so five or seven ways to reverse the denial decision and get approved no matter what. Okay, so I explained to you. I gave you uh, a couple of reasons why personal loans are rejected. Okay, so bad bad credit history, high debt to income ratio, unstable unemployment history, your income is uh, insufficient. The, there's a loan purpose mismatch okay missing information or paperwork you try to borrow too much you did not meet the basic requirements now the five or seven ways the seven ways rather where you can actually reverse the denial decision so review your decline notice review your credit report boost your credit score look for ways to increase your income and pay down debts find a co-signer and apply for a smaller loan amount and last but not the least i want you to put up collateral very important Thank you so much for your attention. I really appreciate it. God bless you. I'll see you next time. But until then, remember, stay marvelous.